at the uh, beginning of June, we're going to have a brand new sermon series, and hopefully this will be exciting for families especially. Um, it's a sermon series about Disney and uh, um, Disney films, and so I want to take just a minute to show you a little commercial about that. Disney and DreamWorks animated movies have entertained us for years. This series of messages will look at gospel themes in popular children's movies during June. Themes that come straight from the teachings of Jesus. Whether you are 4 or 94, join us for a look at the gospel message in a brand new way through the images, messages, and music. Join us Sunday, June 1st for Snow Cones in the new best-selling Frozen. Come on out for some snow cones on June 1st. We'll love to see you. Brothers and sisters, let us worship the Lord. I would invite our confirmation class to come forward. Brothers and sisters, through confirmation and through the reaffirmation of faith, which we do today with these young people, we renew the covenant declared first at our baptism, and we acknowledge this day what God is doing for us, and we affirm our commitment to Christ's holy church. On behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, Put your whole trust in his grace and promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church, which Christ has opened to people of all ages, 
nations, and races. At this time, I invite our congregation to please stand and join in our historic confession of faith and as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. Let us give thanks over this gift of water. O oh, gracious God, pour out your Holy Spirit to bless this gift of water and these young people who receive it to wash away their sin and clothe them in righteousness throughout their lives, that dying and being raised with Christ, they may share in his final victory. All praise to you, eternal Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever. Let the people of God say together, Amen. Callie, will you kneel? I'm going to invite our staff to come forward. As we remember, we are not baptizing. All of our confirmants today have already been baptized. They are making their commitment and their profession of faith, renewing the vows that their parents made on behalf of them. So symbolically, Callie, we say to you, remember your baptism and be thankful. May the Holy Spirit work within you, Callie, that being born through water and the Spirit, you may grow to become a faithful disciple always of Jesus Christ. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. And Miss Kay has a gift for each one of our compliments this morning. Okay. Emma Elizabeth Jackson. Emma, remember your baptism and be thankful. Emma, the Holy Spirit work within you, that being born through both water and the Spirit, you may grow always to be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Sean Patrick Ory, you may kneel. Sean, remember your baptism and be thankful. Sean, may the Holy Spirit work within you that you may grow to be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ always. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Rachel Cecile Swinnington. Rachel, remember your baptism and be thankful. Rachel, may the Holy Spirit continue to work within you that being born through both water and the Spirit, you may continue always to grow as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Simon Scott Trussell. Simon, remember your baptism and be thankful. Simon, may the Holy Spirit work within you, that being born both of water and the Spirit, you may continue to grow always as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. And I would like them to stand, if they would, in their seats. Just stand up again. And they'll come down uh, at the end of the service. And would you give them a welcome, congregation? And now I'm going to let Jay Swinningson, our youth pastor, introduce our seniors. We have an amazing group of seniors this year. Are y'all sure you need to graduate? I'm sure your parents would think that, yes, you do.
Yeah, this, this group is going to be a little bit extra tough for me, I think, this year. I've been back now at Trinity for, this is starting my fifth year, and they were with me at the beginning. And whenever you see these names called, you're going to recognize a lot of faces because they've been incredibly involved with everything we've done here at the church. You know, from, from helping out around the church, scraping ice off one year off the parking lot so everybody would be safe coming in, to just uh, the ham smoke, everything they've been a part of, they've been leaders in our youth group. And, and so it's going to be really difficult to see all these guys going. We've, we've had some, uh, some fun times, some amazing times, and um, yeah, I'm just going to do my best to kind of keep it together here. Um, so as I call their names, I'd like for the parents to stand up as we call their names because, again, we want to recognize you guys as well. Um, I, these parents, you've done well. You can, you, can, you can be proud of your kids. You know, we've got Eagle Scouts to, to musicians to, to just what's most important, Christians. And they're going to leave out of here, and you've trained them well, and we're very proud of each and every one of them. So as I call their name, they're going to come stand up and, and stand across. And we've got a, a couple of gifts for you guys as well, one of which is the, the, our, our, um, our knitting uh, prayer, shawl. Crew, prayer shawl group has uh, knitted uh, scarves for all of our seniors as well. It's been a tradition they've done for the last few years. And so, so when you have your first finals in college, put those prayer shawls on. <laughs> exactly. Um, so we're going to start out with Samantha Bucksbaum, and you'll see which colleges they're attending up there. Graduated from Central and attending Florida State. And we have Emily Cheatham. Emily, congratulations. Will DeLacy, looking good in the sunglasses, by the way. Will, congratulations. And then Christian Fobble. He's had a few of his brothers and sisters make it through here. They've, the third of the last. I've had them since Chris, Christian. Christine. Congratulations. Oh my goodness. Hard. And then we have Elliot Hickam. Just new. Congratulations. Elliot, congratulations. He's already got his riser back on. Yeah. Aaron Norman. Aaron, congratulations. Alex Parr, who is our Eagle Scout as well, by the way. We're very proud of him for that. He's done well. Alex, congratulations. And Will Richardson, who's going to be in a fellowship. He got a fellowship. He's You've seen him play around here quite a bit. Congratulations. Faith Roberts, who's been taking care of your children for quite some time. Yes. That we will miss Faith. Congratulations. Tejas Soman. Soman, sorry. Tejas. Congratulations. Allison Speed who also you've seen taking care of your children for quite a while. And Olivia Speed, who also has been very key helping out with the kiddos. Olivia, congratulations. These two guys are peas in pot here. They've known each other a long time. Don't want to come up, scoot on down here so we get a good picture of you Let's get a good picture of you guys. Do you know, can some of you still remember what it was like to graduate from high school and be on your own the first time? Oh my goodness. I hope we have prepared them well. I know that we are so fortunate to have Jay be their mentor at this church. And we love you and we want you to know that should anything difficult in your life happen, we are here for you. You come back home and you always will have a home in this place. Your senior class of 2014.
seated. And will the ushers please come forward? And while they're coming down, and this is the time that we're sharing our gifts, I would remind you that we have prayer candle tables. You may light a candle and say a prayer, either before worship or after worship. And today, with all the things we're celebrating with confirmands and seniors and the musical, I'm sure parents have lots of things to light a candle for and joy. Let us pray. Lord, Jesus said, whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. Precious Lord, your love for us is amazing. You have blessed us in so many ways. The children of this congregation are an extraordinary example of your blessing. We are thankful for the numerous ministries of this church that reach out to children and families. May a portion of this money continue to support those ministries that welcome children in our midst. Amen.
everybody. I want to tell you a story that happened a long time ago. Almost everyone in the whole wide world was sinning. It was really bad. Then the Lord told Noah to, gra- to, to build a great big boat. To build a great big boat. He called it an ark. Noah's family and all kinds of animals lived on the boat. Everyone, everyone else in the world died because God sent a lot of rain. It flooded the whole earth and, and the people drowned. Wow, that's a lot of rain. You better believe it. Were there any children on the ark? Well, no. But what if there had been? Yeah, what if there had been? And what if the story happened right now? Sawing and hammering and working on it every day from morning till night. You know he wasn't. A, you know he wasn't a kid. He was six hundred years old. That's old. What do you think about the this, this story Grandpa Noah has been telling us about a big flood? My dad says he thinks Grandpa Noah must have flipped telling stories like that and building an, an ark. Don't and me. Don't forget my little puppy. Well, I'm scared. The people how to say that Grandpa must, Grandpa Noah must be crazy. They're making fun of him, and kids are laughing at, at us too. I made up my mind. I'm not going on that thing. You'll have to. Your mother will make you. will take care of us. I'm not afraid at all. Huh, just look up. Just listen to all the people from the village laughing outside. They don't think it's such a hot idea. Just listen. seven days now and nothing has happened. Nothing. (laughs) Noah wanted everyone to stop sinning but they just laughed at him so he just kept building his boat. When everything was ready God wanted Noah to get his family and all the animals inside. You should have seen Noah on top of that gangplank greeting everyone as they came aboard.
for seven days now, and nothing has happened. Nothing. You can hear the people outside. That could, they think we're crazy. Yeah, I'm beginning to wonder myself. You too. You too. You never believe anything until you see it for yourself. That's right. You know, Grandpa Noah said, if we have faith, God will keep his promise. I believe him. Well, look. Well, just look up there. Blue skies. And listen. What's that? Water is beginning to fall from the sky. Wow, the sky's getting blacker and blacker, and water's really pouring down. I'm scared. Me too. Hey, look! The door of the ark is swinging, swinging shut. Say, how did that door close by itself? I told you that God would take care of us. He shut the door. Several days in the ark, the children got bored. There's nothing to do around here. Yeah, I know. Yesterday I tried to fish over the side, but Grandma almost had a fit when I mentioned it. She said, you can't use that worm for bait. You know we only have two. <laughs> it's boring. soldiers Play hide and seek. I'll be it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ready or not, here I come. Who's that in the chickens? Sorry, Grandma. Oh, no.
play baseball. Better up.
After many days and weeks, things really got hectic on the ark. Can you imagine the problems Mrs. Noah had? Oh dear, oh dear, everything's going wrong today. It's not easy for me, you know, trying to keep things ship shape. Now I ask you. Have you ever kept house in an ark? It's not much fun, I assure you. There are some folks who think it's a lark. It's not much fun, I assure you. In an igloo, in a tent, in a sandpan or a cave. To keep a tidy house in them, you really must be brave. But have you ever kept a house in an ark? It's impossible, ask me. I am Mrs. Noah, and you know what I do? In the ark with animals from emu to new. I sometimes start to feel that I'm the keeper at the zoo. And it's not so easy, I'm telling you. Oh, have you ever kept house in an ark? It's not much fun, I assure you. There are some folks who think it's a lark. It's not much fun, I assure you. In an igloo, in a tent, in a sandpan or a cave. To keep a tidy house in them, you really must be brave. But have you ever kept house in an ark? It's impossible, ask me. I work very hard here from morning to night. Feeding, sewing, cooking, and washing clothes white. Taking care of children and Mr. Noah too. And it's not so simple, I'm telling. Oh, have you ever kept house in an ark? It's not much fun, I assure you. There are some folks who think it's a lark. It's not much fun, I assure you. In an igloo, in a tent, in a sandpan or a cave. To keep a tidy house in them, you really must be brave. But have you ever kept house in an ark? It's impossible. Ask me. The rain stopped. The rain stopped. I don't believe you. I don't believe you at all. Well, it's true. Look through the skylight and see it for yourself. Hey, you're right. It, ha it has stopped raining. But how is all that water ever going to rain? There isn't a, a speck of rain that isn't covered. We're going to be stuck floating around here forever. Oh, Gomer, you can't, can't you believe anything? You just don't have any faith.
Well, after seven months, the water had gone down far enough that the ark was in a mountain, but most of the earth was still covered. Finally, Noah sent the dove out to see if there was any dry land. The first time, the dove couldn't find any land and came back to the ark. The second time Noah sent it out, the dove brought back an olive leaf in its mouth. That meant that it had found some dry land. The third time Noah sent it out, it didn't come back. The dove that Grandpa Noah sent out hasn't come back. Maybe the earth is dry and the dove has built a nest. But the door of the ark is still shut. How do we know what's out there? It might. Come along, children. I'm going to go open the door to the ark. Do you want to come with me? Yeah, wow. But Grandpa, you don't know what's out there. Oh, Gomer, don't worry. Everything will be fine. And everything was fine. When when Noah opened the door of the ark, he, he saw that the earth was dry again. All the people and all the animals left the ark. Then Noah built an altar and all the sacrifices and praises to God for saving himself and his family from the flood. Look up at the sky. Look at all the colors. That's God's sign he promised us. It's a rainbow. God, I've been very bad. I didn't know how to believe that you would take care of us when the rain and thunder and lightning were out there. I was so scared. But now I know better. You just, you did just what you said you would do. And now you sent your rainbow to show us all that you love us. God, you're, God, you're great. Thank you, God. Thank you, God.
to thank all of our volunteers who helped, Mr. Jonathan, Mr. Jonathan, and Patty Tanner, and Mr. Glaze, and and Jamie and Bethany and so many of you who volunteered, thank you so much for all your help. Y'all did great. Didn't they do great? <laughs> you know, one of the exciting things, again, you can kind of see how starting very early and very young, you can sit down if you want to. <laughs> Y'all look tired. <laughs> I feel tired. And, and just look at, at your children, what we do when we grow them up from the very beginning. That's what your resources do. That's what our resources of time and talent and effort and generosity do. And then from confirmation to, you're not the final product. You're going to keep growing. This is just a new phase and a new journey for you, but you're going to keep growing. Brothers and sisters, we all need to keep growing. I want to remind you that, um, again, we're updating our database. Please, please get those back to us. No Stress Sunday. We want you to join and be a part of this family of faith on June the 1st. Please join us. Come down if you've been shy. We want you to be a part of our family of faith. You can join Trinity with other people. I had someone stop me today and say, I'm going to join on No Stress Sunday. And don't forget that same day is our cookout. We want as many of you who are new in 2013, 2014 to come to our house and visit with us and talk with us more about where, how you can serve at Trinity. And finally, for all of those who've been here for many years, as well as who are new, who serve, uh, our, by the way, our, um, our mom team, our Arkansas Mission of Mercy Dental Health Clinic, just as I was coming in, Mike McWilliams told me that we had between 35 and 40 people go up to North Arkansas to serve in that uh, dental health clinic. Isn't that wonderful? That service is wonderful. <laughs> so, to say thank you to all our volunteers, whether you're Miracle Team or whether you're ushers, no matter what you do, on June 8th, the second Sunday, here at Trinity from 5 to 7, we're going to have a wonderful party. Uh, Chris Newell's band, The Intruders, will be here and we'll have a catered meal for everyone, so please register for that. we got a lot going on. You've got to call the ministry. Don't forget that. Let us stand and join together as we sing our final hymn. If you would like to join with our family of faith, you may come, to, come forward now. I just wanted y'all to have an opportunity as they come forward. They're going to follow me down. Please come and greet our confirmation class and our seniors. Receive this blessing. Go forth and love God and your neighbor in all that you do. Bear witness to the love of Jesus Christ so that those who do not know that love will find in each and every one of us most treasured and generous friends. In the name of Christ, amen. Amen.